Well, let's heat things up in our Stone Creek kitchen this morning with some special chilies. They're special. They are They're special. special. Joining me now is Terry Craig, chef and owner of Jalapeno Inferno. And uh, we're going to heat things up because we're talking hatch chilies from New Mexico. The you know, real deal. This is it. People say hatch and they don't really understand what a hatch is, but right. there's an actual city in New Mexico called Hatch. It's due east of Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, the great people at Grand Avenue Produce here locally drive a truck over there every year for me and get the hatch chilies fresh. And they're amazing. They're, there's nothing like them in the whole world. You chefs know, it's funny. Chefs, I was going to say. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Chefs get giddy with I mean, they, like, they, you're not the only one that's come in here and said, Oh my gosh, it's hatch chili season. My, it's, it's my a, ideas and the possibilities are limitless now. So it's a small slice of the season. They're available four to six weeks every year. So you got to get them while they're hot, hot pardon the pun. Uh, but the ticket is uh, terroir. The people that make grapes and grow wine and do that for a living, they right. talk about the earth that uh, the product is grown in. And it's the exact same thing with this vegetable, the hatch chili. You can buy chilies all year long. The Anaheim chilies are available. But these are grown in the soil that is unique. It imparts a certain flavor. And that's why they're so special. Okay. It's, it's so all you about could the soil. get now. Is this called a hatch green chili if it's grown in Chandler, Arizona? Um, it's called an Anaheim chili. Is the actual species I think of the chili okay. that grow in the West all but over the, the place. But the hatch is from and, the hatch, and, and they grow specifically in that uh, county and, and with gotcha. the city of Hatch, New Mexico. And again, it's all about the soil. It's totally unique and different there, as it is in Napa for growing. I grapes. did not know that. That's okay. an amazing thing. So, so walk me through this. Is this so a spicy this is, thing? This is what you'll buy in the store. Or if you come to Jalapeno Inferno, you can buy these from me. Uh, and this is what they look like. And there's a thick skin on the outside of these. It's not all that different from a bell pepper. So the first step is to roast them. And that's what you'll see here uh, to his right. Uh, the ticket is to get them on an open flame. You can do them on your uh, barbecue in the backyard. Mm -hmm. You can do them on your stove. You can do them in the oven. So you want to blister that skin. That's what that char uh, action is going there that you see. Uh, you want to get that skin off of there, and then you get right. So you're going from step one to step two, the roasting, and then you uh, sweat them, and you can put them in a paper bag. You can put them in a, a, a covered receptacle, let them steam for a minute, and then that skin will peel right Just off. Just peels off. And that's what we do here. You'll see that, that how easy that comes off. So this is what they look like when you start. Then you roast them, you steam them slightly, and then this skin will come right off. Whenever I lived in El Paso, I worked at, in a TV station out there. Um, on the street corners, you would see these guys, and they would have these um, the roasters, the roaster, like a round. It's a kind of a, a sphere, spherical. Yep. It's a wire cylinder that they just turn cylinder. while they roast. Then yes. they turn it and right. turn it and turn it. I mean, every street corner they'd yep, have them. Exactly. And that, that's the smell that you smell all over the city yeah. of Hatch during this time of year. It's a fun time to be there. So you want to get that, that uh, seed out of there, too? And then you can just dice, you can leave them in strips. Some uh, chefs call them rajas. They leave them in strips like that and they put them over the top of a burrito or a chimichanga, for example. Okay. Or you can dice them this way. And that's what we have here. You know, so again, step one, step two, it's step three. So you buy them in the uh, store, similar to that. You roast them, blister that skin, mm -hmm. get the skin and the seeds out of there, and then you dice them and, and they're ready to go. So step four is step four is actually here, eat and step them, five is exactly, <laughs> right there exactly. into your mouth. And, and, and you can you can you know pick them up and you'll smell them. The, they'll be identified as hatch in the store typically, and they just have What's a unique smell? flavor that is not like you can pick up the one that's grown in California, the Anaheim. Uh, and, and it's a totally different flavor. So let's profile. talk on the, the scale of spice, is, uh, and spice by hot, not like by flavorful. Right. And it's um, called the Scoville scale. Dr. Scoville invented this oh. years ago, University of New Mexico scientist. And these are pretty low on the Scoville scale. They're okay. not that spicy. So let's say like a, a ghost pepper would be like off the charts, yes. and this would be like a two. Uh, exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. Okay. Could you? Um, you could if you wanted to, sure. But we would be crisp. But we want to get the skin off of there, okay. so it, it, it eats better, right? <laughs> and you can see I left the terroir on there. There's a little bit of dirt on there too, that because that's the whole ticket. That's that's why they're hatched. You are the president of their fan club. I am actually. I, am. I need to see this card. Well, you just need to come try all the different <laughs> menu items that we do at Jalapeno Inferno. There's like seven or eight different seasonal rotating menu items that we do just every year. We, this is our time of the year. We, we get excited about hatch chilies. We wait for this time of well, year. Well, I am this excited with you. And what I'm going to be even more excited about is, is to see how you put this into a margarita. We, we'll see we'll that, have that towards, towards the end of the, end of the, of the show. Yes, exactly. But um, we'll let him um, kind of impart all of this passion for hatch chilies here throughout the hour. So stick around in the next one. We're going to make a hatch chili. Es Espinaca con queso with hatch chilies. <laughs> I was, I was wondering how you were going to do that one. Don't tell my dad. I couldn't figure that one uh -oh. out. <laughs> I've never seen so much passion with Hatch Chilies in my entire life. Hey, we're the Jalapeno Inferno. Come on. I hear you. I, and I can see <laughs> this why. This is how we roll this time of year. I